Hello and welcome back to Nest Generation. Today we're going to be looking at the original NES launch games, often referred to as the black box games. These are some uh, often simpler games that were arcade ports and uh, give us an idea of, of what the original NES uh, games were. Um, and these were before the Nintendo Power issues started, so uh, we thought we'd go back and catch up on some of these games as well. Uh, what are some of the games we're going to be looking at, Laurel? Um, we're going to be starting with the original 17 games, which came out on October 18th, 1985. Um, and our first game for today is Super Mario Bros. <laughs> Alright, so starting off, so this one was single player. I think you played this before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what? I beat but it was. It. Oh, that's true, you did. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I beat it with save states, which isn't really the same. Yeah, but you haven't played two, the two player I haven't. version before. Yeah. So this was before they had a lot of. Uh, well, I guess some of the arcade ones had uh, two player simultaneous. Um, but most like platforming kind of games and stuff were, were um, alternating players. Um, I should say we're recording this on an emulator, so there's some lag. Um, in future videos, I have a mister setup um, that gives us pretty accurate uh, emulation of the old games, uh, but I need to get a HDMI recording setup going here at some point, and then we'll be able to have a uh, much better um, lag with the controls, because this is definitely one of the games where I notice a lot of lag playing on this. Um, some of the other games I can get by okay, but even like, I don't know what it is, Super Mario 3 is not quite as bad. Um, but this one, I, just, I really noticed the... Probably one of the ones I played the most hours of. Because I, this, so, we're going through the launch games. Um, I don't think I got, I'm trying to remember what year I would have got my NES. It was definitely a few years after it came out though, so. How does that work with the two player mode? So <laughs> you have to die and then the other oh, player gets I to go. So, oh, no. uh, maybe you'll never... Be, yeah. yeah, you might not it's get to play. It's gonna be a while. Dad's just gonna beat Bowser and he's gonna be like, Well, there you go! So we should apply to that for our uh, <laughs> video planning here. It shouldn't be that long, though. Yeah. But that was a thing, too. Uh, sort of the experience of if you were playing with somebody that was really super good. good at these games, like, you'd just be sitting there waiting. So ingrained in your. Uh, what the heck? Oh. Yeah. I can't remember. I don't think there was any uh, difference between Mario and Luigi in this yeah, one. I think, so. I think it was I exactly think it's the same. Uh, Too, were very focused on like your score. Right. That seems like something that's sort of gone by the wayside. I guess there's. I'm trying to even think of any modern games where you really even care about your score. It's always yeah. achievements and. Um, right. 
Like in Minecraft, it has the like score button, but he never like when he dies. Like here's your score, and you're like, this is useless to me. But okay. Yeah. Well, because a, a number score seems like such an uh, abstract concept. Right. Like it's just a number, whereas like, oh, I have you know ten thousand gold, and I have the. Right. Fastest jumper achievement, or you know, whatever. Um, no. Nope. Feels like a more like, tangible record of what you've achieved in the game. So we'll probably just play through a bit here, and then. Uh, Depending on how long it is, I might edit it down and we'll see if we can even uh, possibly beat the game. I doubt it, but... Oh, I'm red now, even though I'm still Luigi. Oh, interesting. Oh, no, wait, is that just um, that I have a fire flower? Yeah, 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 that's what it is. Actually, I hadn't thought about that, so are they both the same? It's been so many years since I've ever played two-player Mario Brothers. But yeah, I guess they must go to the same palette when they get the fire flower. That makes sense. Wee. Grandma used to even play this game. She did. Yep. Uh, I was not expecting that. So what what would you say as far as oh my I'm gosh. sorry. Uh, comparing this to some of the more modern Mario games you played, uh, does it feel like a lot of the same stuff is carried through or what yeah, what things? Like it always has the like same I feel like um, first two levels, like the first one is in the overworld and you're kinda chilling and it's nice and it's really easy and then the second level is always the cave. I remember when I was little and I had the original DS Mario. Mm -hmm. Boink. Um, I, and I could never get past the second level. Which, uh, I can't remember which one you had on the DS. I don't know. Was it the new Super Mario World or, or su sounds, new Super Mario Brothers? That or no, that was the one on the Wii, wasn't it? Oh, right, and then I also played that one. Which one was on the DS? I'd have to go back and look. Oh, it's home to baby to break it. Super Mario 3D World? Is it? No, that's later on. I feel like that was Wii U? Maybe? Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, so you. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. I'm close to death. But that was the thing too, um, on a lot of these games, at least that I would run into, is there would always be like a certain pattern where that you would be dying, and right. it was hard to like, you had to like force yourself to like get out of that pattern, and you'd just be like dying repeatedly on the same place in a level. Yeah, and that happens in a lot of modern games too. Uh. This dad. Yeah. You're not gonna die. Just have to be patient. There's a lot of little interesting things on this game, like the the piranha plants right. don't come up if you're right next to the pipe. Right. I like the warp zones. Yeah. Oh, that is also. In. It's been so many years since I played through this. I, I think there's one of them that has another warp quickly after. Right. Uh, I'll just go to four. See how it goes. 
I remember I watched a video a while ago and some guy was trying to, um... Oh, man. Ooh. He was trying to figure out, like, what the fastest possible time we could beat it in. Mm-hmm. Uh, or speed run. Yeah. Well, yeah, some of the speed runs are insane. They, like, they, um... Get it down to, like, frame by frame yeah. editing. Like, what is that? So some of them, they'll do it on a computer, and then they can, like, slow it down to, like, oh, I need to jump, you know, it's a 60 frames per second game, but I need right. to jump at frame three or whatever to hit this exact timing right. or something. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I got really need to get a better uh, recording setup. Because the lag on this is not fun. If you got the fire flyer, you could shoot him. Yeah. What is it that you gotta wanna find? Oh, it's a hundred coins. Yeah. So for these uh, black box videos, we're going to be sort of just randomly picking games as we uh, as we go here. Um, oh, that's it. There we go. So uh, that was our quick look at uh, Super Mario Brothers, uh, kind of revisiting an uh, original launch game. And um, as I said, we'll, we'll kind of be uh, picking some uh, other black box games as we go to uh, take a look at. Um, Neither of us are kind of real big sports game people, yeah. um, but there probably are a, a few uh, pretty good ones in there. Uh, so we'll take a look at some of those too and uh, see how it goes. Thanks for watching.